<laughs> what time is it? Uh, it's early. And where are we? Uh, in New Plymouth, just around the corner from where the oil conference is going to be. I'm here outside the TSB showplace in New Plymouth where dozens of protesters are standing in solidarity with Tangata Whenua and local Taranaki activists who've been fighting oil and gas in this part of the world for a very long time. We're here together to block the oil conference within which oil delegates from all over the world on invitation from our government are making plans or planning to make plans to, to drill for oil on land and sea here in New Zealand. I'm here because if we'd have a future, fossil fuels can't have a future. We can live good lives a long time ago and we can live good lives again in the future. I want my mokos to know we do not have to rely on anything that um, is sucked out of the earth <laughs> We're, we're gathered here today and we're putting our bodies on the line for our Pacific Island nations who are being drowned by countries like ours who are not prepared to you know, take the necessary measures to get ourselves off fossil fuels. For those of us in the Pacific diaspora communities here in Aotearoa, when we hear from our relatives, it's a real reality back over at home in, the, in our home islands. Um, sea level rise is happening um, and you, know, you, can, you can sort of notice the knock-on effects with things like coral bleaching, uh, salinization of, uh, of kai. Uh, the planet is literally heating up, it's literally uh, starting to cook and these guys are basically just chucking fuel on the fire. I booked the world famous party of Māori Club to perform for them tomorrow. <laughs> but when the party of Māori Club found out who they were performing for, they said they're not going to come. <laughs> singing about climate action, we're singing about our great-grandchildren who are long away from being born yet. We're doing this for them.